1300 hours pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news read by hasan gilani first the headlines prime minister will address a high level session of the united nations on international financial accountability transparency and integrity today Naval chief says promotion of maritime sector is vital to fully benefit from China Pakistan economic corridor. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred one youth in Pulwama district today. World leaders have expressed strong support for the United Nations in coping with common challenges and threats. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan will virtually address a high-level panel of the United Nations on international financial accountability, transparency, and integrity today. The event is being convened to present the interim report of the panel, which identifies the major gaps in implementation and systemic shortcomings of the existing international frameworks for tax cooperation, anti-corruption, and anti-money laundering. It will provide a high-level forum for discussing the priority actions for addressing the identified challenges. is particularly in light of the impact of covid-19 crisis on the progress towards the implementation of the 2030 agenda for sustainable development in his capacity as president of the un economic and social council pakistan's permanent representative to the united nations munir akram is also set to speak in the panel's moderated session today prime minister imran khan will address another high level side event during the united nations general assembly session the event title poverty at crossroad using leadership and the multi dimensional poverty index to build back better is being co-hosted by pakistan and chile Special Assistant on Poverty Alleviation Dr. Sanya Nishtar will also address this high level event virtually on the sidelines of the UN General Assembly session Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi will speak through video link at SAC Ministerials conference Prime Minister Imran Khan will effectively raise Kashmir issue at the ongoing UN General Assembly session like the last year drawing the world attention to the grave human rights violations in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir in a statement Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi said we demand that the restrictions imposed in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir should be immediately lifted and the communication blackout should be ended He said the amendments in the domicile laws by the Indian government to illegally change the demography of the occupied territory should immediately be reversed. The foreign minister said India resorts to ceasefire violations along the line of control to divert attention whenever it is faced with domestic pressure or the situation in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir goes out of its control. Ambassadors, diplomats, defense attaches and representatives of the various countries and international organizations visited Jura sector along the line of control today. Director General ISPR Major General Babar Iftikhar briefed them about the latest situation along the line of control and the Indian ceasefire violations. The diplomats were briefed that Indian troops intentionally target civil population along the line of control. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred one youth in Pulwama district today the troops martyred the youth during cordon and search operation in Taral area of the district Indian police also arrested a youth in the area meanwhile Indian troops paramilitary and police personnel continued cordon and search operations in Srinagar Badgam and other areas of occupied territory Chief of Naval Staff Admiral Zafar Mahmood Abbasi says promotion of maritime sector is vital to fully benefit from China Pakistan economic corridor in a message on the occasion of World Maritime Day today he said the government has declared this year as blue economy year which is a good step the naval chief said Pakistan navy is playing a vital role in maritime security through regional maritime security patrol he said increasing pollution besides traditional challenges is a serious issue and there is a need of collective efforts by all coastal countries to cope with these problems 799 new cases of coronavirus and 5 deaths due to the virus infection were reported in the country during the last 24 hours according to latest statistics 
294,392 people have so far recovered from the virus and there are now 7,388 active cases in the country. And this is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com slash radiopakistan newsofficial.